Welcome to Upper Slaughter! Upper Slaughter is a beautiful little village and it's I, I think it's probably one of the most beautiful I saw whilst I was here in the Cotswold. Unfortunately I forgot to take my mic with me as I was traveling around all the villages so I'm making my uh, talk about this uh, little town here in Campbell which is about a 30 minute drive to Upper Slaughter. I'm pretty sure the name Slaughter isn't as bad as it seems. I haven't researched why it's called Slaughter but I'm sure it's a very innocent and honest reason, but I'm also not going to research why it's called that just in case. It's not such a nice way of naming a town. So you can get some very beautiful shots here in Upper Slaughter. It doesn't have much in the town, so you really don't need to spend that much time here, but it's definitely worth a visit, especially if you are in and around Borton on the water. The only thing that's really there is some beautiful homes with uh, uh, old style architecture, as well as the church. And that's all there really is. When we were there, we were there very early, so nothing was really open yet. So we didn't see if there was any sort of uh, coffee shops or anywhere to have a drink. We didn't notice any of that stuff whilst we were there, but that could have been because we were there too early and maybe there, it all opens up later on. And this does feel like a town where you didn't need to get there as early as we did. You can get there a little bit later as it is a lot quieter than the other places. So this is also, I want to say, like the most beautiful on the eye. You can get beautiful shots with cameras and uh, uh, drones and uh, video cameras, and it can look fantastic in pictures and on video. But when you're just looking with your eyes, like when you're actually traveling and you're experiencing the area and you're just taking the beauty in, without looking through a camera lens, I would say Upper Slaughter was the most beautiful on the eyes. We've had some amazing villages here and amazing countryside, but Upper Slaughter just looks good. It may not necessarily have looked the best on my camera, but when you're actually there and seeing it for yourself, I think that's where it's, uh, the beauty comes from. Actually seeing it for yourself, I wish I much more preferred to then I did Castle Coombe. The best way to get there is by car. There's no real other way. I didn't notice any bus routes. I didn't notice any tours that went there or any spaces that coaches would be able to bring people there. Uh, taxi or by car really feels like it's the only way to get there. Uh, failing that, I guess hiking there, you could hike there. Um, and if you're staying close by, say somewhere like B uh, Borton on the water, then it wouldn't be that bad of a hike. Other than that, it probably is missable because it's also such a small place that you could really spend about 30 minutes there just walking around to take it all in. If you want to take some photos and videos, maybe you'll be there for about an hour, but that's really all you need unless there are places there to uh, have a coffee or a meal, but then you're really only going to spend about two, two and a half hours there max. So it really doesn't matter if you miss it that badly. It's only a short amount of time you're going to be there for anyway, but it is a very beautiful place. And if you have the opportunity to, if you have the opportunity to, if you have the opportunity to see it, I do recommend it. With a lot of other places being full of tourists, this is one of the ones that is quieter with less tourism, mostly because of the difficulties in getting there. So if you're looking for somewhere a little bit out of the tourist trap, then this is one of the locations to go. Just one thing to mention, there seems there is a, a few no-fly zones around. As I was uh, shooting with my drone over Upper Slaughter, I must have somehow got into a, an area where the zone where the drone could no longer fly. It couldn't get back to me. I wasn't in Upper Slaughter whilst I was filming uh, on my drone. I was in between Upper and Lower Slaughter drone, trying to get <laughs> trying to save time and do both of them in one go. But when I got into Upper Slaughter, I wasn't able to get the drone out of it. So there is some sort of uh, I'm not sure of the technical terms, but some sort of no fly zone for the drones that I couldn't pass. So I then had to drive all the way back to Upper Slaughter and land it 
in the place where I was parked there and it was okay. <laughs> it was a bit scary at the time because it was starting to run out of battery and I was like, oh, that's just great. It's just gonna fall out of the sky. But I did manage to obviously retrieve it without any uh, damage. But just to be aware, if you are gonna be taking any drone footage that around Upper Slaughter, there are areas that the drone won't be able to fly through. And to make sure that you're prepared to get the drone if it's somehow trapped somewhere. That's all I have to say about Upper Slaughter. I highly recommend it. It's a beautiful place. However, if it's not possible for you to get there, then it's not gonna be a massive miss. But anyway, as they say in England, see you later.